Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Soul Magic 99 and I'm here with the April um, readings for all the signs and this is for water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio so we're going to look at your tarot, your love messages and your guidance from your guides and angels I hope you're all doing well thank you so much for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting so let's have a look to see what's happening for you in April So we've got Knight of Wands, Eight of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Four of Pentacles, The Moon, Ten of Swords, Page of Pentacles, The Hermit, The Emperor, Four of Cups, Ace of Cups, Queen of Cups, Six of Swords. So some major energies here, some um, major arcanas. Um, got coins, got wands, got swords. So we've got the Knight of Wands energy. So this could be somebody you know. This could be somebody you've been dealing with, which is Fire Sign Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I mean, it can be that player energy. Maybe this is somebody that you've had an on-off connection with. Why is the page of... Uh, sorry, the Knight of Wands here. Is it the Knight or the Page? The Knight. Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? We've got Seven of Swords energy. So it looks like somebody's has been lies or deceit here. I hate that card. Um, some deception has been going on here and linked to this person we've got eight of swords energy so you're up in your head I think at the moment about this you're up in your head about it so why is the eight of swords here why is the eight of swords here we've got devil energy so you know this could have been one of those situations you know like a lustful situation where somebody was in and out there could be addiction issues here drink drugs or sex addiction gambling some sort of codependent behavior maybe but then we've got the ten of pentacles next to it so it could be that somebody was already married somebody was already in a, in a relationship okay this could be somebody that was already involved in their ten, had their ten of pentacles um, but we're seeing you there on the side. So why is the Ten of Pentacles here? We've got Four of Swords. So I feel a retreat or healing is needed from this situation. Okay, because you've been up in your head... There's been lies or deception. Let's get another message on that. Ten of cups. Ten of coins. There's been conflict. There could be arguments. There could have been, you know, a lot of disagreements here. And we've got Queen of Swords energy. I feel this could be you. You could be in that energy yourself, even though it's air sign energy. Or this could be the other person that your Knight of Wands has been dealing with, an air sign. But it could also mean that you're in that energy and you're feeling defensive, you're sort of speaking your truth, you're going to be blunt. We've got seven of coins energy, so that is somebody that's going to focus on their work, you know, on their planting those seeds, working on a project in a work base, really sowing those seeds to build up that abundance, you know, that financial abundance that's going to come in. But next to it we have the the four of pentacles somebody wasn't being generous with their affection they were holding on to what they had they were not being open-hearted or generous in any way and we've got the justice card here so justice is going to be served in this situation this could be karmic justice here and we've got the moon energy so i feel you know being water signs obviously what you know cancer is a water sign you're linked to the moon, that's your ruling planet, and you're very psychic, some of you, and you're very tuned into the moon energy. So why is the moon here? 
Six of Swords. So you're going to tune into the moon energies and I feel you're going to leave the past behind. You're going to move away from the past. Okay, leave that upset, disagreements, conflicts, lies, treachery, whatever behind you and move into smoother waters. And with that Ten of Swords energy, you're going to leave that anxiety, depression, worry that's been up in your head behind because the ten is the end. So you're coming out of that feeling anxious, depressed, sleepless nights. And we've got the magician energy. You're going to manifest the life you deserve. You're going to manifest the future that you deserve. And with that page of pentacles there, there's a new beginning coming in. This could be work related or it could be to do with a new person coming in. We've got Queen of Coins energy. So this could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could be somebody new coming into your life, somebody grounded, somebody financially secure, stable, you know, in a good position. And we've got the Hermit energy. So you may need to spend time going within to really connect your intuition, your higher self, to gain that enlightenment over this situation before moving forward. And we've got that page of cups energy. So there is a new offer of love coming in on the table here. Somebody's going to offer you a new start in love here. <clears throat> and we've got the emperor energy. So this offer could be from your divine masculine. This could be somebody you know, or this could be somebody new coming in. It's Aries energy, fire energy, passionate, strong, focused, you know, someone that goes after what they want. This is somebody that knows what they want, okay, and they're going to make that fresh start with you. Yeah, they want to make that offer of a fresh start, a new beginning here, to start off something. We've got four of cups energy, so, you know, you've been feeling about you know, sad about past love, you know, disappointments in love, past situations, you feel there was lost opportunities. So you're feeling a bit sad. So why is the Four of Cups here? So you're undecided whether to take this offer. I think that's what that's talking about. You're undecided as to whether to take this offer. So you're thinking about that. You're weighing that up. But there is a brand new start in love here coming in, a new beginning. And I feel that you're in that energy of self-love. And again, we've got the emperor energy again. So whoever this person is, it could be somebody new or somebody you know. They're in divine masculine energy. They're your counterpart coming in here. And we've got queen of cups energy. So that is you as, as a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You're in your element. You are the queen of cups. You're loving, nurturing. You're open to love. You're somebody that would make a good wife, a good mum, and they see you in that energy. And obviously before you were in a situation where somebody was holding on tightly and you're, you know, worried that somebody's not going to reciprocate. Why is the four of coins here strength? But you've gained in strength and knowledge in this period. Okay, so you're in a good energy and you're moving away from the past. I think we had that come up before. So you're moving away from the past, past people, past situations, past hurts. You're moving forward in your life to a new beginning. But at the moment, we've got the hangman energy. So you're trying to look at things from different perspective. You're pausing before taking action. So can you give me any other messages for water signs, please? Yeah, we've got four of cups. So you're still thinking about the past. You're still thinking about disappointments in the past here. So that's sort of keeping you stuck. But we've got the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Karma is turning. There will be a new beginning here. And we've got the sun coming out. Beautiful. And there's going to be celebration. Beautiful energies. So there will be a brand new beginning. And it will bring you happiness and joy and celebration. So let's get your love messages. So we've got attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So be in your own energy. Be happy being single, you know, and you will attract that in, you know, that romantic love. And it, it will be very soon that you meet this person. It says, decide what you want so it comes to you now. So once you decide, once you manifest, once you affirm, once you pray on what, what it is you truly want, it will come to you. And keep an open mind. 
your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So the person you meet may not be somebody that you would normally go for. They could be different from your usual type, but that can be a good thing. Because if those situations haven't worked out, it's time to try something new, yeah? But pay attention to the red flags, the signs of cautioning you. So I just feel that means just really get to know this person before committing fully. Just really get to know each other, spend that time. And you're possibly going to be wary after past situations anyway. So just take your time getting to know this person. If they're genuine, they will really, you know, wait for you and give you that time. But it's true love. There's true love coming in here. Beautiful. So we've got healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. So there might be some healing needed after this past situation. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you've shared with those you love. Beautiful. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So your soulmate is connecting with you and even if you don't know them yet, they love you. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Beautiful. So blessings of love coming in for you. <clears throat> it may not happen exactly in April, but these are the energies at the moment. So just bear that in mind. So let's get your guidance. So this is the fairy oracle. We've got patience, please. What you're asking for is coming about. Have patience as there are unseen factors that need to occur first. So, yeah, have patience with the situation, okay? Spring. Your desires fully, must, fully manifest, sorry, as the flowers begin to bloom. So we're in springtime now. So any time now, something could be coming in. As I said, it looks like new love's coming in for some of you there. So now we've got your ascended master messages, and we've got Hina, freedom. So let's look at the um, message. Walk away from restrictions and be free. You have the power and the right to change your life so you experience more freedom. This card signifies your soul is crying out for more freedom, especially as it involves your life's purpose. Perhaps it's time to take a break so you can think clearly about your desires and options. The universe always supports the desire for expansion, creativity and freedom. Say yes to freedom and the universe will say, will say yes to you. It's time to leave a situation you've outgrown. Question the validity of any rules you've imposed on yourself and allow the universe to support you while you make desired life changes. Be assertive and say no to anyone who's overstepping boundaries with you. Beautiful. And then we've got Lady Nada. Mother, wife, sister, daughter. So a lot of us Divine Feminines are in that energy sometimes. We are aspects of all of this within us. The issue you're asking about involves a significant woman in your life, such as a mother, a wife, a girlfriend, a sister, a daughter. The first person who comes to mind is correct. Any unhealed feelings you carry towards this person could be blocking or slow manifestation of your dreams, as well as leading to imbalance. This is a perfect time to call upon God and your guides to release any toxins associated with past, present female relationships. This process opens a way for healthy relationships with women, including your own feminine energy. Balance your masculine and feminine energy by practicing giving and receiving on a daily basis. Be willing to forgive a woman in your life who seems to have hurt you. A female deceased loved one is saying, I love you from heaven, and a new relationship with a woman will prove to be very significant. Beautiful messages. <coughs> So your animal spirit, we have bats. See through illusion into truth, Archangel Dorenka. So bats have that um, sonar, is it, I think? You know, they come out at night and they actually sense things, don't they? They sense where their prey is, their food is. Um, so maybe it's time for you to use those senses in your life. You know, really tap into your intuition, your sixth sense. 
you know, and sense things about your life, about people around you. <clears throat> so some fairy messages. We've got new beginnings. The fairy god, this fairy godmother heralds the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea. Protect and nurture your ideas as you would a baby. So some of you, there could be pregnancy coming in or news of a baby in your family. Absolutely beautiful. And magical blessings. Whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. So that's beautiful. Always, you know, bless people and accept the blessings that are coming to you as well. Be open to these blessings. And we have begin now. Take your first step. So yes, the first step to a new way of life. Take that step, okay? Take that step to what the life you want to lead. Start now. You know, don't delay, don't procrastinate. Take your first step now. And Archangel Michael, finally. Honour and trust your feelings. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for supporting, guiding and protecting me as I listen to and act upon my feelings. Help me understand and express my emotions with love. Keep your eyes on your targeted intention. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me focus on my inner vision and intention. I ask for your guidance in releasing any fears or doubts, granting me the confidence and courage to take action towards realising my dream. So that is using that manifestation to really target what it is, you know, set your intentions out there, what is it that you want to manifest. So finally, some messages from the universe. Things are about to get really juicy. <clears throat> A little heads up on an addiction that afflicts all, all really old souls giving love eventually becomes an even greater need than receiving love see you're not strange love the universe beautiful sometimes the good is hidden find the good in what they said or asked it's always there even if they didn't mean for it to be there sherlockly yours the universe p.s clues for what you want are hidden all around you and finally, all there is, all there is to love has been there all along. When you begin to find love in people and places where you haven't found it before, it's always because you've grown. You so rock the universe. Beautiful messages. So have a great month, uh, water signs, and I will see you next time. Many blessings. Take care.